Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, this will be another Minecraft tutorial for you guys today. This will be how to put real images into your Minecraft texture pack. So if you guys know how to make texture packs, this should be very easy for you. Um, if you don't, I recommend you check out a tutorial on YouTube how to make texture packs in Minecraft. Um, otherwise, the process is pretty much the same except for a few different things. So anyways, just follow me along. And I'll show you guys how to do it. The first thing you want to do is click start and type in percent sign app data percent sign and hit enter. And that'll open up this folder. Now open up dot minecraft and open up the bin. So if you're familiar with this, that's good. Just follow me along. Uh, and then you should have all these files in here. Now they might not have the dot jar file extension. Um, if they don't, that's perfectly fine. Uh, just click on Minecraft, um, but mine says Minecraft.jar. So find this file, obviously, and you're going to want to right-click, open with, and then open with an archiver program. Now, if you don't have WinRAR or 7-Zip, you're going to have to go download it. Um, but otherwise, just click on 7-Zip or WinRAR. Basically, you can't just double-click on Minecraft.jar. You're going to have to right-click, open with, 7-Zip or WinRAR. So, like any texture pack, you can open up all of these, and you should have all these PNG images. Uh, that one doesn't, but GUI, for instance, all these ping images. And you can edit these however you like to make your own texture pack. Um, I'm going to just show you guys. Oops. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it with the terrain. So, if you keep hitting T, you'll get your terrain.png. I'm going to show you guys how to edit this one. So, drag that to your desktop. I've already done this. And then you can exit out of that. And then this folder, you should minimize it. And then you can open this up, this terrain.png, in one of three programs. You can do Photoshop, Paint.net, or GIMP. Uh, Photoshop is expensive, but Paint.net and GIMP are both free. So if you're familiar with those pro programs, you can use those. Otherwise, just go download those because they are free. Um, you cannot use MS Paint. The paint that came on your Windows computer will not work because it doesn't support opacity. So that one's not going to work. You're going to have to go download one if you don't have one. So I'm going to open uh, open this up in Photoshop and show you guys how to do it. So here we go. So this is your terrain.png. This is one of the many images within your Minecraft.jar that you can edit to make a texture pack. Um, so say I wanted to edit this stone and I didn't like the stone for whatever reason, and I didn't want to draw my own stone. You can take an image, and I've already done this, uh, you can take an image and then literally just copy and paste it into this block that is stone, 16 by 16 pixel block. So if I look at this one, I just found this off Google Images, you guys can do the same thing. Um, I can just copy the whole stone, or I can copy part of the stone, or just like a, a texture of the stone and paste it in here. So let's do that. You can go up here select rectangular marquee tool and if you're on paint.net or GIMP the process is basically the same you're gonna have to look around a little bit maybe to find some things but those programs are a lot a lot like each other so it shouldn't be too difficult so you just wanna click and you can select any part of the stone now it's worth noting that you're gonna want to hold shift while you're doing it because when you're holding shift it becomes a perfect square so that's the best for shrinking down images. That'll look the best uh, when you uh, transfer it and transform it. And we'll get to that later. But now you want to select a perfect square area. So hold shift and you'll get a perfect square. And if you hold space, you can move this around. So say I just select this part of the stone. Now it's worth noting you probably want to do it on an area where the color isn't too different. For instance, like this. This is pretty much all the same color. Over here maybe wouldn't be a very good place because there's, you know, it's a lot of different colors. Like, But right here, it'll look pretty much the best because we're going to be shrinking this down and it looks the best if the colors are close. So once you've done that, you can say edit copy and then you can just literally just edit, paste, and it'll paste it in here. Now you can click this tool and drag it in, drag the left, top left corner into your stone. And you can say edit transform, edit transform scale, and while holding shift again, 
you can shrink it down so it's a perfect square still. And you can put that into your stone texture and then you can hit the check mark and there we go. So it, it, I think it looks good but obviously if you don't like it you can try it again with different parts of the stone. Uh, that's basically it you guys. You can do that with HD texture packs as well. Uh, just before you paste that in there, image, image size, change the image size. And if you guys don't know how to do that, I've made an HD texture pack tutorial as well that you can look at uh, that explains how to do this type of stuff. But really just copy, oops, paste, and that's pretty much it. Um, one more thing. Obviously the stone is just kind of a texture. But if you want to do an actual object, like torches or doors, you can't just take part of it. You're going to have to take the whole thing. And that can be kind of difficult with, uh, with the backgrounds. And this says, like, geology.com. Obviously, you don't want that on your image. So if you want to do an actual full image, like a door, you're going to have to kind of pick and choose and try to choose a, be a good image that doesn't have too much of a background and try to select it as close to the object as you possibly can so the background isn't an issue. And that's pretty much it. So now we can select, deselect. And then this is our new terrain.png. Obviously you can keep editing it however you like. When you're done, file, save, save it back to your desktop and I'm just gonna minimize this. But it should be saved back to this terrain.png. Now you can open this folder up that we left open hopefully. Once again, right click, open with, 7-zip or WinRAR. I'm going to open with 7-zip. And then you can just drag and drop this edited terrain.png into your uh, Minecraft.jar and it will overwrite that one. I'm going to say no because I didn't really do anything, but uh, it'll overwrite your default terrain.png and you are done. So that's pretty much it. Whenever you are sick of this texture pack, obviously you can go back into Minecraft and uh, delete the bin and then open up Minecraft uh, the actual program and it will re-download a new bin for you uh, but other than that that's pretty much the process you guys so uh, thanks for watching and I hope that helped